Okay, uh, this time let's leave the weight we shenanigans off to the side. And instead I will whip out my DIY skills. They are pretty much non-existent, but still, let's see where we end up. So I've been a one bike, one wheel set rider for a many years now, but since I got the open up, the wheel sets has slowly started to increase and I'm now up to three wheel sets for one bike. And space are starting to become an issue again. So when I built this room, or not built, when I decorated this room, which is a spare bedroom as my bike room, I made a bike hanger, which you can see back here where you hang the bike from the wheel either front or back in the end though I don't really use that hanger that much feels wrong to hang the bike like that kind of like crucifying it or something so instead of having that unused I thought I will refurbish that to use for my wheels instead so I always have a one wheel set of the bike and then the two other wheel set just propped up against the wall now where they take up a lot of unnecessary space so the plan is to take that bike hanger and instead make something that I can thread on my wheels all four of them from ceiling to floor hopefully my ID works if not you probably won't see this video so I don't know why I said that and apart from getting the wheels off the floor I thought it could also end up being a quite a nice uh, backdrop for the videos if nothing else and maybe some of you can use this uh, as inspiration I know I love looking at other people's bike rooms and how they manage their storage solution and stuff like that so i guess this will be my contribution to the bike rooms of internet land world so first i need to go to my local home center and get the necessary parts hopefully they have what i'm looking for but uh, i think i'll i should be able to manage to find something useful at least so let's go so I went to my local home center with the plan of getting four threaded rods as close to a 12 mm through axle as possible. Having the rod threaded all the way, I could have used nuts as stoppers and spacers. However, they didn't have any bolts long enough, so I had to settle for some 3 8 rods that only had about 6 cm of threads at the end. So that's a lot smaller than a 12 mm through axle, but I figured I would be able to make it work anyway. Not optimal, but I'm too impatient to start ordering online. I needed to finish this project before golden week was over and I had to go back to work. So in the end I got these four bolts, two long ones and two short ones as the wheels will be overlapping. I still knew I needed to cut them down so I wasn't too worried about the length. I also got some shallow nuts and washers to go with them. Although I had to go back and get more washers as I needed eight of them and I only got four. Proper brain fart right there. I also got two door stoppers that I thought I could use as spacers for the two wheels that would overlap the others. They had to be slightly modified in the end, but it worked out pretty well. Lastly, I'm using some shrink tubing that I had left over from my bike builds that will go over the bolts just for some extra protection and to add some friction, preventing the wheels to slide around too much. Next step was to take down the 2x4 plank and remove the bike hanger. I have wedged the plank between the floor and the ceiling with the help of these 2x4 adjusters. You can learn more about these in my original video putting together the bike room, so check that out. Then I needed to figure out exactly where the balls would be on the 2x4. Pretty simple, laying the wheels out on the plank, overlapping enough so that all four wheels would fit but not overlap too much so the rotors and cassettes would touch each other. In the end, the holes for the balls ended up being 44.5 cm apart. After marking up all the drill holes, I took everything outside and tried to drill as straight as I could with my awesome IKEA drill. A real DIYers dream. It worked out okay, even though I first drilled too small and I had to drill again with a bigger size. But that's all part of being a true amateur DIYer. After everything was drilled, I took the plank inside to freshen up the paint as it had gotten a bit dirty and miscolored from tire marks and such. I could have painted the backside and used that as the front to avoid the small screw holes left from the wheel hook, but since I had that totally unpainted, it would have meant a few layers of paint and a lot more time waiting for it to dry, which I didn't really have, so I decided to use the same side as I used before. I figured you won't see those holes anyway when the wheels are on the stand. 
While I waited for the paint to dry, I cut down the bolts to length. I cut the nut side as I needed the threaded side to secure to the 2x4. The shorter one I cut to about 17 centimeters and the longer one about 23 centimeters. In hindsight, I probably should have kept it around 24 centimeters. Still, it worked out in the end though. I also needed to drill out the door stoppers so they could be threaded over the bolt. Same drill as I used for the 2x4. After the paint was dried and the bolts cut the length, all that was left was to install them on the 2x4. So from the top I started with the short bolt, then the long one and so on. A bolt, a washer to the bottom of the threads, through the plank and then another washer and a bolt to keep it nice and secure. Then finishing up with string tubing. Now as this bolt doesn't have threads all the way along the rod, there really isn't anything for the shrink tubing to shrink into, so to speak. So it's not terribly secure and I can remove it pretty easily. On a threaded bolt this would have been much more secure. I did toy with the idea of cutting some grooves into the bolt, but uh, yeah, I was too lazy. I might do that in the future though. It still works decently, but if I just snatch the wheel off the stand, it might bring the shrink tubing with it. If I just do it carefully, no problems. Here I realized the door stopper was a bit too long as well, so I needed to cut off about a centimeter or a centimeter and a half to make sure the bolt reached all the way through the hub. Not a big deal though, quickly taken care of with a hacksaw. With everything in place, I used a 2x4 adjuster to wedge the new wheel display or wheel stand back between the ceiling and the floor and boom, done. Okay, so I know that's pretty corny, but that suits a guy like me. This is just one of those lead strips you can find really cheap on Amazon for like 10 bucks or something like that with an adhesive. So you just stick it to the back of the plank. Corny, like I said, but why not? So I'm pretty happy with the result, if I might say so myself. The main reason was to get the wheels off the floor and not take up any space like out into the room so as flat against the wall as possible and I think it worked out pretty well and last but not least uh, pretty cheap. I think the most expensive part on this stand is probably that 2x4 adjuster. Since I'm living in a rental place I can't make any holes in the walls so this 2x4 adjuster is pretty good for that kind of stuff but if I were allowed to make holes in the wall I would probably use some kind of L bracket or something uh, to attach it directly to the wall that will be more stable so if you want to do something similar that might be an even cheaper option i will put the full part list down in the description but if you decide to go down this route i would definitely recommend to try and find the actual 12 millimeter bolts instead of these that are a bit too small but yeah still works in a pinch I think that's it for this video. If you found this helpful or interesting in some way, feel free to leave a like. It's always appreciated. And subscribe if you want more of this kind of stuff or other bike nerdy shit. And if you do, I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Jesus Christ.